week on NBA 2K TV. One on one with Warriors Eric Pascal. My team card updates. We give you tips on basic play calling in 2K20 and your top plays. Welcome back to a brand new episode of NBA 2K TV. Over the past. Here's a shot from earlier on. As the Suns arrive at the arena, they're looking to leave town on a winning note tonight. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. Downtown San Antonio, Texas, this bridge spans the Riverwalk, not too far from our location tonight. Welcome, everyone, to Noche and a Beyond. A Latin theme is the backdrop to tonight's festivities. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table. And on this, and a chance to take a look at some numbers for Aiton. And guys, I think he's starting to feel the wear and tear. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines. And we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, guys, since Devin Booker's been in the pros, he's been able to show his ability to create. He's doing it all, D.A., thanks. We're looking forward to the center matchup tonight, Doris. What do you expect to see from these guys inside? Well, I think there's a requisite physicality in there, certainly. Uh, at the same time, there are greater demands on big men, Kevin, than we have ever seen before. Yes, they have to be rim protectors. Yes, they have to control the paint. But now those bigs are asked to defend in space, to guard on the perimeter. Kevin, you know this. That's a tall task. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Sharich and Aiton at the four and the five. Rubio and Booker. They're the backcourt. And it's Oubre in at the three. And for San Antonio, we've got LaMarcus Aldridge. Trey Lyles out there at the Rosen. Then there's Murray. And it's Forbes in at the two spot. Pass to Booker. Beyond the arc. And he's good on the three ball. Well, that's the bread, the butter, the main course. Booker's move and the catch and shoot money. Outside DeRozan. And it's blocked. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. <laughs> About one minute into the first. And Rubio gets it to go on the assist by Sharich. At his size, Dario Sharich can see the floor and he knows how to put it on time and on target. Murray, the pass to Forbes. Now here is Aldridge. Double team on Aldridge. Inside, DeRozan. Oh, and the jam by DeRozan. Wait, how effortless does DeMar DeRozan make those slams look? This guy glides to the rim and makes it look easy. And Rubio kicks to Booker. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Six to shoot. Got a piece of it. In transition, here comes San Antonio. The shot's good from four. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. The Suns have gone two or three here to start out the game. And the guard, Bryn Forbes, won back-to-back -back state championships as a high schooler in the state of Michigan. A couple years at Cleveland State, then transferred back to the state of Michigan and played at Michigan State. And after that time at Michigan State, he went undrafted, but Kevin really has developed into a steady rotation player in the NBA. And by the way, quite a knockdown shooter. Booker finds Sharnich. That one good for two. Boy, what determination from Dario Sharich. So good at being aggressive around the rim. Rubio against Murray. Passes to DeRozan. A high post shot, and it's Aiton with the rebound. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Here's Oubre, and he uses the glass on the layup. But you can see Kelly Oubre Jr. just wants it more than everybody else. Such heart and desire. 
And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for the San Antonio Spurs. They trail by three. Here's Aldridge. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, Greg, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. The pass to Oubre. And here is Aiton. DeRozan defending. Shoots a fader. And it's Aiton missing. Spurs have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Releases from 15, and that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Well, DeMar DeRozan's mid-range game is as good as it gets in the NBA, and the textbook pretty jumper go to work DeMar. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. five on the floor a big group substitution here for Phoenix Aaron Baines he's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Frank Kaminsky comes in for Sharich Mikhail Bridges checked in for Kelly Oubre and it's Carter in for Ricky Rubio and good that time several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game it reminds me of that cameo song back and forth Now, here's Mills. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Gay right side. And that one hits back iron. For Phoenix, they've gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. Carter looking around. He dishes it to Bridges. Pass to Booker from deep. Rebound, San Antonio. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Hurdle kicks to White. Gay trying to break free. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. San Antonio shooting their first free throw of the evening. And they've shot the ball well this season in, in, in terms of their attempts. 81%. One shot. One oh four left here in the opening quarter. Here's Jerome. Pass to Baines. Tipped away. Here's Jerome. Shot clock at six. Over Gay. And off target as he starts the game 0 for 1. White dishes to Mills. He kicks to Gay. Pass to Bellinelli. The pass to Mills. Over Carter. Rebounded by Kaminsky. Carter on the wing. Pass to Jerome. Goes up from the top of the key. Jump shot is good. Tie game in San Antonio. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And in 
Eric Pascal, welcome to 2K TV. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, trying to survive and, and just uh, playing a lot of video games, working out as much as I can in the house and just catching up on everything that's going on. I know some players were saying that. And a look behind the curtain here. Final preparations for the challenge ahead. And a quick look here at some of the talents ended down to David Aldridge standing by from the sideline. Well, if you a terrific attitude, it makes him very tough to handle. David, thank you. Here are the five for the Raptors. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slot. Ari out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Ibaka in at the five. And for Minnesota, they've got Towns. Malik Beasley out there with Russell. And it's Akogi in at the small forward position. Now here's Beasley over to the wing. And here is Hernan Gomez. Six on the shot clock. Russell sinks that one from the post. Steve, compare it now to when you were playing. Did the teams go deeper into their benches than they used to? Yeah, they do. I think because of this low management, resting players. So you see a lot of guys play a lot. And also what they've done right now with the G League, being able to bring guys up, they use those guys. And I think it helps a lot, even not on games, but in practice. You'll see more guys are involved in, in giving guys rest. Yeah, that makes sense. Now the dish to Towns. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. Back to Towns. It's hauled in by the Raptors. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. And the layup's good off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now, here is Russell. He's coming off a 28-point game against Houston. And he really made an impact defensively. His four steals were huge. And Zulawi will bring it up for Toronto. Last time they met was in Toronto. Yeah, really ratcheted up the pressure in their last matchup, getting steals and just creating havoc defensively. Their D was just phenomenal in the last game. We'll see if they bring that same intensity again. Come outside. Five on the clock. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one is on town. Yes, people have been surprised by Siakam's offense. What I'm surprised about is the efficiency. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the strike in that last game. And the first one at the line is good. And the most improved player in the league last season, Pascal Siakam got better in every statistical category. <laughs> that one falls, so he hits both of them. And it's those diamond-in-the-rough players that so often elevate the top teams. And, Greg, that's what the Raptors found in Pascal Siakam. No doubt. The 27th pick back in 2016, now a full-time starter on a rookie contract just over two mil this season. He is due for a big race. Here's Van Vliet after the made shot from Carl Anthony Towns. Outside Lowry. Trying to get open is Ibaka. The shot by Lowry, no good. Timberwolves have gone two for four from the field so far today. Back to Russell. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. And yes, it's good. Towns has got his second bucket. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. Here's Lowry, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line.
I know you're playing a lot of 2K. What modes are you playing in? Uh, I do a lot of play now. My career, I go to the part of it, like Donovan, Royce. So who is a better 2K player out of the three of you? Uh, Royce O'Neal, you, or Donovan Mitchell? It's NBA basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. It's the Orlando Mansion facing the Golden State Warriors. It's the Warriors to start out. Now the starting group for Orlando. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Fournier out there with Fultz, and it's Isaac in at the three slot. Now here's Richmond. Right away, that's a two-pointer, and Vucevic pulls it down. He makes a lot more of those than he misses. Not sure what threw him off right there. Fultz kicks to Fournier. Pass to Isaac. Four on the shot clock. A foul right off the bat. You hate to pick up your first one so quick. Gordon, the pass to Isaac. Feeds it to Fournier. Lock at six. over Richmond. Fournier's shot is off. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Here's Lister. A shot that time, not on target. Great D that time from Vucevic. Now, here's Isaac. Defended by Mullen. Mullen with the defensive effort. Here's Hardaway, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Vucevic. Yeah, easy call. The Warriors shooting their first free throws of the night. The Warriors, Tim Hardaway, taking two shots. That free throw good from Hardaway. Hardaway hits them both. And it's the Magic's ball. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Vucevic against Lister. And Vucevic kicks to Fournier. Shot clock at five. Knocked loose. But Trey. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Outside Mullen. Pass to Lister. Back to Mullen. Hardaway for three. It's hauled in by the Magic. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. Passes it to Fultz. And finished off by Fultz. Possessing the athleticism to hammer it down. You better check out Fultz. He's demonstrating how powerful he can be. Now here is Hardaway. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Mullen for three. Connects from three-point range. And boy, did they need that one. Their first make in the five field goal attempts they've had. Fultz looking around. Good D by Hardaway. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Launches it. Another three for...
What advice would you give those guys in college that want to come to the NBA? Be mentally prepared to be very tired. I mean, <laughs> Uh, back to backs are no joke. I mean, you barely play back to backs in college because maybe in the tournament. But besides that, I mean, you got to be mentally prepared to. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers facing the Houston Rockets. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Bradley is out there with Green, and it's McGee in at the five spot. Now here's LeBron, six on the shot clock. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Pass to Drexel. Launches a three. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. That's platinum level dime dropping right there by Harden. Such a smart pass. Gets us to his teammates on time and on target. And that one's good by LeBron. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. And you do not want to let him get going early because that can get you cooked. Now, here is Harden. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. I really appreciate how Harden handles contact, staying in control of his body, and tremendous balance. James against Drexel. LeBron passes to McGee, and it's McGee with the jam. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Bradley against Harden. A shot, no good. Bradley with some nice D. LeBron dishes to Bradley. And James throws it down. LeBron James throwing it down is a thing of beauty. An incredible athlete who makes dunking look as easy as it can look. Now here's Drexel. And Davis sends it back. Outside Green. It's stolen by McGrady. Harden outside. The dish to Yao. Down to five on the shot clock. Shoots from the line. Another miss by Houston. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. Bradley passes to Davis over Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan with the block. Boy, Elijah Wan is a ferocious defender and rim protector. Really excels at slapping shots away. Harden dishes to Yao. And then Elijah Wan with the dunk. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Let's do some rapid fire questions. I did this poll on IG the other day and I was really surprised at the answers. Um, I personally think that people should make their beds every day. 
Good Friday night to you sports fans. You've come to the right place. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the San Antonio Spurs. And now the Lakers starting group. West is out there with Barnett. And it's LaRusso. Then it's Nelson. And it's Baylor in at the three. West with the steal. To the inside. And that one's good by Baylor. And what's unique about Baylor, he can score from a variety of angles and really good off of either shoulder. Just great extension and body control. Now here's Leonard. And there's the pass to Duncan. That's tipped. Good on the bucket. Yeah, Duncan's still making a living by absorbing that kind of contact and able to still score. Here's Barnett. First quarter of play, one minute played. To the wing right side. Shot clock at six. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. <laughs> San Antonio with the ball. Parker kicks to Duncan. Barnett against Gervin. Pass to Leonard. Six to shoot. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. That's a two from Parker. And it's Barnett with the rebound. Well, Mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. West passes to LaRusso. Kicks it out to Baylor. Pass to Nelson. No good that time. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. High arcing shot. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. Here's Barnett. Fall back, baby. Dick Barnett with the pretty J. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Trailing by two. Barnett against Gervin. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. You know, a lot of times we talk about good passing, but accurate passing is a huge quality of a good pass, and Leonard did it there. West with the ball. Leonard picks him up. And West with the quick release jumper. How about three or four from the floor to start? That's always a good sign. Be sure to check back next week when I challenge Eric to a quick game of 2K. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. I was going to, you know, kind of take it easy on you, but now I might have to switch to 2K view and uh, do some work. Oh, my God. A Spurs team walking to the locker room earlier, determined to have a big night on their home floor. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express. Dress like a pro. The friendship torch in the foreground and the tower of the Americas behind it. Two of the signature sites here in San Antonio. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Al. Well, guys, a proud franchise. Thank you, David. Now we have a moment to look at how the blocks have been stacking up over the past...
several months for Aldridge. But we're just not seeing that same fierceness out of him defensively these last few months. He's lost a little bit of that intimidation factor. He's not blocking as many shots, and he's not making the same impact on that end of the floor. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. We've got Mo Harkless. Alfred Payton is out there with Barrett. Then it's Taj Gibson. And it's Randall in at the four. And for San Antonio, we've got Murray. Aldridge out there with Lyons. Then it's DeRozan. And it's Forbes in at the two spots. You can see it, Doris, with some of these good teams trying to build momentum as we get closer to the postseason. You seem to know and understand which teams are good on both sides of the basketball. Are they top five efficiency offense and defense? And as you know, Kevin, if there's a player with a hot hand, that can really make a difference in round one. Absolutely. Peyton against Murray. Peyton outside. Here's Randall, and Randall throws it down. Well, what you want to see from Alfred Payton are floor general skills on full display. Finds the open teammate. Nice. Poked away. Payton against Murray. Pass to Forbes. To the paint. Wants to get it to DeRozan and does. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Boy, officials say play on, even though there's contact. DeRozan, I guess they don't think he needs any help. Harkless, the pass to Peyton. Now here's Harkless. DeRozan defending. Shot clock at six. Outside for Randall. Let's it go with a three. Can't hit that one. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. They beat the Knicks during their last encounter in New York. And the last time they were able to come away with that win because of their depth. Great production from the reserves. I think sometimes the bench can make or break you in a particular game. And that was a total team effort, no question. Had to alter his release at the last possible moment and somehow still gets it to go. Peyton outside for Murray. And it's Peyton. That time on the assist by Barrett. To me, if I'm Alfred Peyton, I want to capitalize from right here. Do your work in the mid-range. Aldrich kicks to Forbes. Fires for three. It's rebounded by New York. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. And Barrett gets it to go. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. You guys, when you consider the New York Knicks roster, there is some talent amongst their young players. More than a handful of their guys in their first three years in the league. Kevin Knox, Mr. Robinson, and Mr.